Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie, and the Oscars are here. I'll be doing a proper Oscars winners video tonight, but I wanted to do a video honoring all of our favorite fandoms and fandom actors that we think should win an Oscar. Because the Oscars are one of the most professionally recognized and respected award shows, I'm going to be bending the rules so I can include things like Doctor Who and other television shows. Oscars are normally just for movies, for motion pictures, and you could argue that the People's Choice Awards is kind of like the fandom Oscars, but because the Oscars is mostly voted on by a group of old men, I thought it'd just be fun to do our own awards. So let's have some fun with this and just do Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Actress, and Best Supporting Actor, Actress. The really funny thing about all this is that sometimes actors that win real life Oscars actually have starred in some of your favorite fandoms in the past. It's just that some people or directors or writers get their start on a science fiction or genre show and then later in life go on to become hugely successful. Part of the reason I wanted to do this is that most of the time the people that vote on the real life Oscars really hate science fiction and genre. For instance, Christopher Nolan has only ever been nominated for an Oscar for his Memento screenplay and for Inception. He didn't win either of them. Inception lost to King's Speech, which is exactly the kind of movie you would call Oscar bait. So let's talk about our favorite stuff and people we feel deserve Oscars. Feel free to add stuff in the comments if I don't mention it in the video. Let's start with Best Supporting Actress. We have to start with Michelle Fairley for The Red Wedding. She's amazing as Catelyn Stark in general, and since the show is so serialized, I'll include her, even though technically it's part of the Emmys. Then there's Amanda Abington in His Last Vow as Mary Morstan, now Mary Morstan Watson. They have to compete with Evangeline Lilly, one of the few females in Desolation of Smog this year, but an amazing performance nonetheless. Feel free to make any more suggestions for Best Supporting Actress in the comments, but next is Best Supporting Actor. We have to include Lars Mikkelsen as Charles Augustus Magnuson, such a great villain, and every bit as scary as his brother Mads Mikkelsen and Hannibal. Then there's both David Tennant and John Hurt in the Doctor Who 50th Anniversary episode. We have to include Philip Seymour Hoffman from Catching Fire, Idris Elba in Pacific Rim, and I would like to nominate all of the dwarves from Desolation of Smaug as one collective group. They could just share an Oscar statue if they won. Technically, we also have to include Benedict Cumberbatch as Smaug the Dragon in this category, because even though Smaug is very big, I consider him a supporting character in the story. On to Best Actress, though. These are the leads from each movie or fandom. Starting with the easy one, Jennifer Lawrence in Catching Fire. She'll get attention at the actual Oscars for American Hustle, but it's probably her Hunger Games stuff that most of us know her from. The other easy ones being Sandra Bullock in Gravity and Scarlett Johansson in Her. Great science fiction if you have not seen them yet. Some of the few science fiction movies that are actually getting legit recognition this award season. There's actually a lot of lead actresses on my genre awards list, so I'll try to keep it down. There's Jessica Chastain in Guillermo del Toro's horror movie Mama. Rinko Kikuchi in Pacific Rim, one of the most badass female characters all year. Both Kristen Bell and Adina Menzel in Frozen. They should also win for Let It Snow, the song, too. And I can't leave off Amy Acker in Joss Whedon's Much Ado About Nothing. Whedon vs. Shoutout, on to Best Actor. Starting off with Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman for the entirety of Sherlock Series 3. Matt Smith in the 50th Anniversary Special. Tony Leung in Wong Kar Wai's Grandmaster as Ip Man. So awesome. Alexei Denisov, also in Much Ado About Nothing. And I kind of want to include Tom Hiddleston for Only Lovers Left Alive, but they moved the release date, so technically it's a 2014 movie. And lastly, we have to include Peter Dinklage for everything, but mostly for Game of Thrones. On to Best Picture. So I tried to narrow it down to the best of the best. There were a lot of awesome things, and some of them are actually getting recognized at the real life Oscars, so it's really cool. First, there's Spike Jonze's Her. It was actually my favorite theatrical film this year, next to Miyazaki's The Wind Rises, two movies that you absolutely have to see. Wind Rises is actually nominated for Best Foreign Language Film, which I totally hope it wins, but I think it should also be included for Best Picture overall. Then there's Desolation of Smaug. It was one of the only movies, in addition to The Wind Rises, that I paid to see more than once in a movie theater. Then there's Gravity from Alfonso Cuaron. I love all of his movies, but Gravity is amazing. And that's my winner's wish list. So let me know what is your favorite sci-fi or genre movie this year, and let me know why you think it deserves an Oscar. Like I said, I'll be doing an actual Oscar video tonight after the winners are announced. Be sure to subscribe to get that. I'll also be posting a new Walking Dead episode. Right now, click here for that Oscar video. I'll add the annotation as soon as I post the video tonight. And click here to catch up on Walking Dead before tonight's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives.